Vocabulary 7. Hi, my name is Sonia Berger and you are watching the Best My Test TOEFL Vocabulary Series. We continue our focus on the environment and specifically look at words that refer to threats to that environment. Our first two words are hospitable and inhospitable. Let's look at hospitable first. It has two meanings. The first meaning refers to an environment that is pleasant or favourable for living in. Hospitable can also mean friendly, welcoming for guests. So what is inhospitable? When we add the prefix in, we make the word negative. So an inhospitable environment is a harsh, difficult harsh, difficult environment to live in. And it would also mean a place that is not friendly or welcoming for guests. Unfortunately, in the world today, humans are making the world a very inhospitable place for other species. Here are sample sentences that I filmed for you using photographs from a very dry part of South Africa and a very water-rich part of Thailand. Although this landscape seems inhospitable, it supports many different animals, including the springbuck grazing in the distance. Thailand is a very hospitable country, both in terms of its natural beauty and the friendliness of its people. Our next word is endangered. Endangered is an adjective that means to be at a serious risk of dying out. When a species is endangered, it is at a serious risk of dying out. And I shouldn't have drawn a human skull here because humans are not endangered, not yet. We are endangering other species. We're putting them at risk of dying out. Here is a sample sentence. Lemurs are amongst the most endangered species of mammals in the world. Usually the numbers of an endangered species dwindle. To dwindle means to decrease, to become less in size, amount or strength. We also use the present participle dwindling. The numbers are dwindling, in that case dwindling forms part of the verb or the dwindling numbers. In that case, the present participle acts as an adjective. But in both cases, there's the sense that something is decreasing. It's becoming less. Here is a sample sentence, and I used a very disturbing photograph that I took in the Humboldt Museum of Natural History to illustrate the word dwindling. Bird numbers are dwindling worldwide. Researchers blame climate change, habitat destruction, domestic cats, high-rise towers, skyscrapers and wind turbines. A word that is similar in meaning is to decline or the present participle form declining. Decline also means to decrease, to become smaller, fewer or less. And once again, I'm going to use a photograph from the Humboldt Museum of Natural History in Berlin to illustrate the use of this word. Both casual bird watchers and ornithologists have noted that bird numbers are declining steadily. These dwindling or declining numbers ultimately lead to extinction if the process is not stopped. Extinction is when a particular plant or animal stops existing. And when no members of that species are left, we say that the species is extinct. Here is a sample sentence. Dinosaurs became extinct about 65 million years ago. The cause of their extinction is a matter of scientific debate. Another word that carries the sense of becoming less is diminishing. Diminishing means to make something less or to become less. An example would be the sheet ice is diminishing. In other words, it's becoming less. Here is a sample sentence 
that illustrates the word further. The rapidly diminishing Arctic sea ice is threatening the survival of polar bears. And on that cautionary note, we end today's lesson. For more information about TOEFL vocabularies or TOEFL practices, go to the www.bestmytest.com website. Goodbye. Thank you.